Check this out guys, a friend of mine was telling me about this. Big shout out to Byron. Look at that, that's all me. Yep, that is all you. That's how much I had to pay right now, 4703 to fill up my tank. I was a little bit lower than halfway. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm not gonna sit here. Look at that, I did that. There's another one right there, look at this. These are current gas prices, 383. It went down a couple cents, thank God. But it's gonna go start going back up here pretty soon. 443 for premium, and check this out guys, you can see. I gave them $50. So yeah, I've been noticing these stickers. I just wish I knew where to get them. Trust me, I would stick them on myself. So whoever's doing it, keep doing your thing. Cause the Biden, the Biden voters, they're never gonna get it, man. They keep telling me in my videos, oh, it's all your fault, quit complaining. That's the other one I, I hear sometimes, quit complaining, it's all our fault. Inflation is our fault. here Anthony there's something that I've been wanting to share with you guys and I'm finally getting the opportunity here to do it um, comment rate subscribe please share this video with everyone this is very important and my question first of all in case you don't watch through the whole video is I want to know if this has happened to any of you or you know someone this happened to too now I'm in Texas so I don't know how this works is at the local level state level federal level I have no idea guys by the way, I don't get food stamps. I don't condone or judge people that do. I do know that some of these programs are a necessity for some people. But let me show you guys. I am not exaggerating. I think something about to go down because I don't find this a coincidence. Look at this. I already received three notices. Look at that. Three of them. I am not making this a back-to-back -back in the last, like... It came, the first one came like three months ago, I want to say, then the next one a month later, and now this one, two weeks later after the third, the second one. And look what it says, time sensitive. Now some of you watching this and already get food stamp, think all oh, this got exaggerating. Um, this is new to me, okay? You understand, this is all new to me. I, I'm not an expert in this. Time sensitive. Fill out the form inside and return by due date. And let me read to you the notice. Let me read to you, do it. Let me read to it. Uh, please watch the whole video. There's, there, this is my proof and this is what I suspect. But let me read to you this notice first. Okay, this one came on the first. It doesn't matter. They all say this pretty much the same thing. It says, you may, you may qualify to get help through the Texas Simplified. What does Simplify mean? Application project T S A P Snap Benefit Program. I seen that on the door at the restaurants that I delivered to Snap and something else. I don't remember. Anyways, I know I seen that at the grocery store, grocery store, uh, EBT Snap. I don't know if they're all the same. I have no idea. It says the Texas Health and Human Services Commission has a project called T S A P. Let me know, guys, what that is. I know it says Texas Simplify Application. And I'm going to tell you something. It's only like, uh, there's this page. There's one in Spanish, I guess. It says the same thing. Usted proverá no sé qué. And then there's a one application page. Uh, one application page. Let me show you guys. And the back of it. And there's one more one more no no and right here so it's not that many pages uh, it's not many pages at all the rest are in spanish okay you should be eligible to participate in tsap if you meet the following criteria now what i did i read the criteria and i and i underlined the one that, that it seems like i would qualify like they, they made the qualifications really easy by the looks of it okay all members of your household, which is people who live with you and purchase and prepare food together are 60 years and older. No, nope, nobody's here 60 years or older. Receive disability payments or both. Nope, I don't qualify for any of those. Now, I do have a special needs daughter, but I pay for my groceries here at home. Okay, the members of your household have no earned income, which is income received from working 
I do have a job, so obviously I don't qualify for that. And no member of your household receives SNAP. Now listen to this. Now you would think, well, I work. The second one. Now check this out. They added this in the ward, word, wording. And no member of your household receives SNAP. Nobody here gets SNAP. Benefits under the SNAP Combined Application Project, which is SNAP slash CAP. So I would qualify for the third one. Now, I'm not used to making this video as an excuse video, telling you I'm gonna get food stamps or anything, but this is my, this is what I suspect, and I don't find this as no coincidence. I got the first letter three months ago. When did the inflation problem started happening? In November, I believe, November, October. The new C, uh, inflation data just came out at 7.9, which I don't agree with. Inflation is easily 30% because my stove just broke down. When I bought it, let me show you the stove, guys. When I bought the stove, it's a Samsung. I got it for $549 plus tax. I bought a four year warranty at Geek Squad. Hold on guys, hold on. I'm not changing the subject. For I, I bought a four year Geek Squad plan. Well, it just broke down. They're gonna give me back $549 of store credit. But I calculated before I even looked up the prices. 30% is the real inflation rate. That sucker is not $549 anymore. I just looked it up on um, bestbuy.com. It's a Samsung. I didn't even get, I got like the middle one, range one. I remember the one was gas. I got the one that's self clean. And there was one more with the, it had a second oven. That same one is $1,049 and I don't know how many cents. Do the math, that's 30% inflation. And I'm just thinking electronics. I am not even adding groceries, gas. I used to spend, I remember I used to spend at Aldi $249 a full shopping cart right before the pandemic started. Then now at Aldi's I'm spending $500. I am not making this up. I've done videos in the past. I even showed you guys I paid cash. Now at, at Kroger, I'm spending $300. That's why I gave the rest of my groceries. I go to the meat market down the street, I'm spending $100. And what I've heard is, we have not felt the real inflation yet, not to discourage you guys. But I find it kind of odd that they sent me this already three times. Look at this guys. And I don't believe in food, I don't believe if I could pay for my groceries, I just shouldn't have to get this stuff. Now somebody gonna come here bashing me, oh, you got six kids. I've never received these uh, applications before. Never have I received these as long as I've been living here. So why are they coming now? Honestly, could it, I'm suspecting the groceries might shoot up a lot more. Now you, some of you guys are saying, oh, but I can still pay for it. It might get to a point that we're not gonna be able to pay for our groceries. Three of these notices already? I didn't think much about it when I got the first one. So how they get my information? The second one came in. I was like, whoa, why are they sending a second one? Now a third one? Guys, something's about to go down. Something is about to go down, guys. I'm serious. I told you, they're gonna wreck the economy. And you know what it is? They know people will riot if they can't pay for their food. Well, anyways, let me know what you guys think. Comment, rate, subscribe. Jesus loves you. Let me know. What do you guys think? I think some, something's about to go down. I know you guys are going to say, ah, oh, his conspiracy theories like always. But what do you do when the conspiracy becomes reality? Let me know, guys. Comment below. God bless you. Jesus loves you. Have a good one. God bless. Bye-bye.